In the summer months, animals flourish, trees grow tall, and flowers bloom. But hidden amongst nature's seemingly benign smile is something far more toxic and sinister. Plants which impart not just beauty, but poison, causing a painful, violent, and twisted death. It was once believed that wolfsbane could protect against werewolves, and it is still used in some parts of the world to ward off packs of wolves from livestock. But even when removed from the myths of the old world, wolfsbane is still just as deadly today as it ever was. Wolfsbane possesses several other, more macabre names, including Monk's Hood, Devil's Helmet, and Queen of All Poisons. You don't need to eat Wolfsbane for it to kill you, although it most certainly will, but just touching the hooded flower is enough to send you to an early grave. The nausea will hit just before the uncontrollable vomiting, followed by an intense burning sensation throughout the body, and you'll lose control of your own movements as a powerful neurotoxin takes over. Finally, after two to six hours, the heart becomes paralyzed and death follows soon after. Some victims are not so lucky and suffer a long, prolonged death over several days. Treatments exist, but wolfsbane often proves fatal. To this day, it grows wild in North America and throughout Europe, killing people on a regular basis. One notable victim was a Canadian actor, Andre Clarence Noble, who died in 2004 after ingesting the plant during a hike, mistaking it for a harmless herb. In 2014, Nathan Greenaway from Aldershot, England, brushed up against the plant while gardening and later died. And most notoriously, in 2009, Lakvir Singh poisoned her lover with the plant. Unfortunately, wolfsbane poisoning is all too common, as people often unknowingly plant it in their gardens, hoping to brighten it up, but instead risk suffering an agonizing death. It's not just on land where we must fear nature's poisons, but the sea, too, which hides many terrifying secrets beneath its waves. Imagine lazily swimming in the sea with the sun beating down upon you when suddenly the surrounding water turns crimson, as if the sea itself is bleeding. This is the red tide, also known as a Karenia bloom, a type of algae or plankton that grows and reproduces at an astonishing rate, consuming the oxygen in the water and producing vast amounts of waste toxins. The poisons engulf everything they touch, contaminating marine life and putting human health at grave risk. The swirling mass of death can appear without warning on the safest of shores, lasts for months at a time, and the blooms range in color from green to a menacing blood red. Fish that feed on the algae become poisonous, and if contaminated shellfish are eaten by humans, this can cause shellfish poisoning, which can result in memory loss, severe abdominal pain, and even permanent paralysis. But even avoiding seafood doesn't mean you're safe. Red tide can contaminate the air, where the wind carries the toxins far from shore. Breathing in the mist, which is often invisible to the naked eye, can result in gasping for air, even miles away from the coast. Nightshade. It's pleasing to the eye. It bears dark, enticing berries, but one bite and it's good night. The seeds, berries, flowers, stalks, and leaves of the nightshade plant are all capable of killing. Even when bees gather nectar from it, the resulting honey is highly toxic to human beings. Despite these dangers, lower doses of deadly nightshade have been used in herbal medicine for centuries. But measuring the correct dose requires meticulous expertise, and any misstep can be fatal. It only takes a couple of berries for a curious or hungry child to ingest a fatal dose of the plant also known as the devil's herb, or witch's berries. And the descent to death is agonizing. 
The vision blurs, the heart races out of control, pain builds in the abdomen, and finally delirium overtakes the victim, causing confusion and psychosis. Unlike many deadly plants, there is an antidote for deadly nightshade, but sadly, it is often administered all too late. Most deadly plants are ingested or touched by accident, but in some cases, they are taken deliberately with the belief that they will heal. Instead, they cause brutal damage to the human body. Birthwort has a bloody history. It was, and in some instances still is, used as an herbal remedy, but it wreaks havoc on those who ingest it. Many centuries ago, it was believed to have healing powers and was used to assist with childbirth, hence its name. Academics speculate that the herbal use of birthwort could have resulted in thousands of childbirth deaths and may even have significantly contributed to infant mortality. Now, through advances in medicine, the dangers of birthwort are well documented, though it has still caused profound harm over the years. In the 1990s, in Belgium, a doctor noticed a significant increase in the number of women developing kidney problems visiting his practice. Eventually, the cause was found. Birthwort was being sold locally as an herbal weight loss aid. Over 100 people were diagnosed with kidney failure as a result, and many required kidney transplants to survive. Some developed cancer after ingesting the plant regularly. Most poisonous plants act quickly, but the birthwort does not. It is a slow, painful process which can take years to debilitate, causing complete kidney damage and even death. The phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, has its merits, but some fruit is forbidden with good reason. Mystery surrounds the manchineal tree, which produces the apple of death. The tree is toxic from root to tip, but some of its toxins remain unidentified even today. Standing underneath the tree during a downpour can result in poisoning. As the sap mixes with rainwater, it drips onto the skin and causes a severe allergic reaction. Even using the manchineal tree as firewood produces smoke that can damage the human eye. But of all its poisons, the most dangerous is the one hanging from its branches. Delicious-looking apples lure in unsuspecting humans and animals into taking a bite, a decision they quickly regret. The apple of death causes a person's insides to begin to bleed, leading to shock and infection. Soon, the throat tightens, making it nearly impossible to swallow food or even your own saliva. The apple of death reportedly tastes sweet before it turns on your intestines and digestive system. This is one apple that should be left alone. Many poisonous plants act as a sedative, but one plant does the opposite, supercharging the metabolism to dangerous levels, and for those afflicted, it is an excruciating experience. Water hemlock contains a toxin so powerful, it causes neuronal depolarization, which affects the brain at a cellular level, changing the electrical charge of the neurons. Soon after ingestion, victims suffer from painful and debilitating seizures, vomiting, tremors, dizziness, and confusion. The body temperature increases to dangerous levels as the blood becomes more acidic. Meanwhile, the brain swells and the kidneys fail. Hallucinations soon follow, and finally the patient can no longer breathe without using a ventilator, inducing a coma. Very few survive, and those who do suffer from amnesia, twitching, and anxiety. No antidote currently exists for water hemlock poisoning, making it all the more dangerous. The plant continues to be ingested accidentally because it is mistaken for wild carrots or parsley. Even experienced foragers have been known to make this mistake, which often turns out to be their last. Water hemlock is a weed, as are its variants. It grows anywhere, on abandoned grounds, in farmers' fields, in the woods, and maybe even in your own garden. If you enjoy a nice, cool glass of milk every once in a while, you might think twice after hearing about the highly toxic white snake root. 
Also known as richweed, the white snake root is particularly nasty. Native to eastern and central North America, this impressive flowering plant can stand nearly five feet tall. However, this seemingly innocuous plant has killed thousands of people with a deadly neurotoxin called Tremetol. If a person ingests it, they shake uncontrollably, experience agonizing abdominal pain, and severe vomiting. Eventually, the patient slips into delirium and suffers from an unquenchable thirst, which all culminates in a coma, or in some cases, death. Treatment for the poison is scarce, and you may not know you've ingested it until it's far too late. Animals, most notably cows, tend to eat the plant, which passes into their milk, and even pasteurization does not eliminate the risk of being poisoned. Many speculate that this is what killed Abraham Lincoln's wife, Nancy, in addition to thousands of others during the time period. It's for this reason that white snake root poisoning is often called milk sickness, and while it is rare today, several unlucky souls ingest it every year. Of all the deadly plants in the world and their painful side effects, giant hogweed might just be the strangest. Known also as hogsbane, this plant can reach nearly 20 feet high and is often found in Central Asia. It is so invasive that it is actively outlawed in other parts of the world and it's easy to understand why. The giant hogweed produces a sap that sticks to the skin of those who walk or fall into its leaves. At first, this causes some minor irritation, a rash and some itching, but the sap is also phototoxic. When light from the sun hits the sap, it kickstarts a chemical reaction that burns the affected person's skin, causing agonizing blisters to form. The burning torture continues for up to 48 hours and leaves behind a strange purple and black scar, which can take years to disappear. The giant hogweed is a prime example of nature's brutality. Not only does it cause pain and suffering for days, but it leaves its mark, likely in more ways than one. Shamans, herbalists, and modern medicine practitioners utilize countless species of plants to treat and cure diseases. But nature is not always so friendly, and there is one plant that has allegedly driven some of its victims to suicide. The stinger, the moonlighter, gimpy gimpy, or the suicide plant, is a toxic plant found in the rainforest of northeastern Australia. It has large heart-shaped leaves and bears an edible fruit to entice those who pass by. But picking such a fruit comes with horrific consequences. Thousands of hollow hairs cover the plant, piercing the skin on contact and spreading a powerful stinging and burning sensation. Soon, red spots form and the skin blisters, with the extent of the pain nearly unbearable. Its after effects can last for days or even months, and stories of its agony continue to be told. The first recorded account was in 1866 when a horse accidentally brushed against the plant and writhed in pain for hours before dying. Locals continue to tell tales of horses throwing themselves off of cliffs just to silence the agony. More recently, Marina Hurley, a researcher in the field of stinging trees, was badly stung and described the sensation as being burnt with hot acid and electrocuted at the same time. And in 1994, a soldier was strapped to a hospital bed for three weeks to stop him from harming himself because the pain was so intense. He also told the story of an army officer who used the plant's leaves as toilet paper and later allegedly shot himself rather than endure the stinging any longer. After the hollow hairs have penetrated the skin, a cool breeze or a hot shower can be excruciating, turning life into a months-long miserable nightmare that some have not survived. This flowering plant found in South America and Europe is anything but angelic. Its poison has the power to corrode a person's entire psyche and sense of reality, resulting in a painful and manic death as the walls of sanity cave in. Every part of the angel's trumpet is highly toxic, but the leaves and seeds are particularly deadly and have a horrifying effect on a person's mental stability. 
When ingested, individuals can suffer hallucinations, convulsions, manic mood swings, uncontrollable sobbing, sexual excitement, and aggressive behaviors. Difficulty breathing and a rapid irregular heartbeat will then manifest into a potentially fatal downward spiral. The European Archives of Psychiatry and Clinical Neuroscience published one particularly brutal case where an 18-year-old drank tea made from the plant's flowers, which some tried to use recreationally. After approximately two hours, he disappeared into a garden shed and amputated his penis and part of his tongue with a pair of garden shears. When the man woke up in the hospital, he was completely unaware of the incident suffering from amnesia. Unfortunately, the doctors were unable to reattach his amputated body parts. That's all for this episode. Now be sure to watch another one of my videos by pressing on screen. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you won't want to miss what's next. And I'll see you next time.